Hi everyone, welcome to our exercise class. I'm sitting in a chair today, however, one of the exercises that we're going to do a little bit later will be a little bit more difficult, and I'll talk about that when we get to it. But grab yourself a chair, a bottle of water, make sure you said hi to your doctor, and you're going to be doing exercises, and he will say yes, because you're supposed to do that. And let's go ahead and sit about mid-seat. That's where we're going to start. And we're just going to do a really simple little warm-up. And all that is is moving side to side. Our exercises today are going to be working on the core. Okay? So we can just go ahead and warm things up a little bit just by sitting. Once again, sitting mid-seat. And also, when you're doing a simple movement like this, you don't want to be moving in this manner. So once again, tall posture. You'll be working on your posture here. This is a great way to work on uh, while you're sitting, to focus on how you're sitting, and that's nice and upright, okay? And let's just go ahead and roll the shoulders a little bit because we will be working those particular muscles in just a moment. So hope you're having a great day. It's always good when you're moving around, right? Okay. All right, so we got a little bit of exercise or warm up in. If you wanna do more, please go ahead and turn the video off, stand up, do some of that marching, and you'll be off to a good start. So in this first exercise for our core. We're going to be sitting about mid-seat and we're going to have our feet nice and firmly planted. Now as we move back it's not going to look like this as we sit back. Okay? So as we sit back and form an angle in our seat we're upright. Our back is straight. Okay? And then we're going to put our hands one on one shoulder, one on the other crossing over. We shouldn't feel any pain in our neck, so we're going to put a, a little bit of a chin tuck in there, and all we're going to do is lift up, okay? Now we're going to do about 10. Now if you feel any pain at all, obviously just stop this movement, okay? Here's two. Focusing on bringing the belly button to the spine so you have a nice strong core. Three. Four. Five, notice my chin tuck, and straight back. I think I'm at six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. We'll go ahead and stop for just a moment. Now you can do 10, you can do 30. So I'm gonna go with 30, so we're gonna do two more sets of 10. You can stop at 10, okay? So here we go, and one, belly button to your spine, two, three, bit of a chin tuck, four, five, six, if you want to see those or feel those muscles working, seven, just put your hand on your belly, eight, nine, 10. Take a little break. Make sure you're not feeling any pain. Make sure you're feeling okay. And once again, making sure you're sitting tall. Bit of a chin tuck. If you want to stop here, that's fine. I'm going to do 10 more. And here we go. 10. 9. You don't have a rounded back. Remember, it's not looking like this. Nice and tall. 3. 4. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, perfect. That's great. Put your hands on your thighs. Let's do a little bit of a cat pose. Do a little bit of a cow pose. Bringing your forehead or your the crown of your head toward the front wall. One more cat pose, so your backbone is going up toward the ceiling, and cow. 
flat back and bring yourself all the way upright. Now we're going to do, well, let's do 10 on each leg, alternating. You can hold on to your chair and you're, remember you don't want to feel any pain. Hold on to your chair, lift for about three seconds. One, two, three. One, two, three. Two, two, three. Two, two, three. Three, two, three. Three, two, three. Four, two, three. Four, two, three. Five, two, three. Five, two, three. Halfway there. Six, two, three. Six, two, three. Seven, two, three. Seven, two, three. Eight, two, three. Eight, two, three. Nine, two, three. Nine, two, three. Let's hold ten a little longer. Ten, two, three, four, five, and ten, two, three, four, five. Excellent job. So great little exercise for the core. We're going to do one more sitting in, sitting in the chair, and these are going to look like this. So you, you can move back just a little bit holding on to your chair, and it's going to be heel and toes, heel and toes, heel and toes. So you want to get a good grip of that chair, heel and toes, heel and toes. So notice I'm picking my feet up together, but you can always do it separately if it's too much on your back, okay? So heels and toes, heels and toes, heels, toes, heels, toes. How's your posture? Toes. Let's do five more. Four, toes, three, toes, two, toes, one, toes. All right, great little core exercise you just completed. Go ahead and do that over. If you want to do this next one, it's strongly recommended and only if you can get on the floor and back up by yourself or maybe a little bit of assistance by someone else, but make sure that the person helping you is able to help you off the floor. So we don't want any injuries. You want to make sure that you are able to get down to the floor and up from the floor. And we're going to go ahead and do the quadruped. So I'm going to remove my chair. And this is how the quad quadruped looks. So I'm going to go ahead and get on the floor. There's several different ways you can do this depending on how strong you are. So if your wrists are bothering you, if your knees are bothering you, place something under your knees. If your wrists are bothering you, if you're in this position, I just recommend maybe not doing it because it's a lot of pressure on your, your wrists. So the first and easiest is just to bring a leg out. Now, notice that I'm not looking here, and I'm not looking down on the floor. I'm looking straight at the floor. And you're going to hold for about five seconds, and then you're going to switch legs. Really tighten up that glute, and bring it down. You're going to do that about five times, five seconds per leg. Okay, so I'll let you all do that as you're able to. All right, the other position that you can do is this. So you want to take one leg out, bring the opposite arm in front of you. You want to hold that for five seconds. And then switch. And you're going to do that about five times per side. So let's do three more on each side. Thank you. 
And one more. All right. So, making sure once again that you get up slowly, just because you don't want to get dizzy and faint. So you can always hold on to something. Get up slowly, so I'm not just jumping off the floor. And if you need to, just take that seat until you catch your breath, or to make sure that the blood goes to where it's supposed to go, okay? So I'm just gonna take this chair back here, and we're gonna roll our shoulders. Like I said, we can sit down. And I'll give you one more exercise you can do while we're seated. So you're just gonna put your hands, if you can, by your ears, behind your head, and all you're gonna do is squeeze the shoulder blades. Now, if you are unable to get into this position because of shoulder issues, or geez, it just doesn't feel comfortable, I'm pulling my head forward, that's not right, then all we're gonna do is do our show off your muscles and pull the shoulder blades together, okay? And hold it for about five seconds and release. So I'm just gonna do this one. You can go ahead and do this one and squeeze the shoulder blades maybe five times and release. Hold and release. Hold and release. And let's do one more and I'll do it this way. And relax your arms. Let's stretch that out just a little bit and you will be good to go. Let's do a little double duty here. So rotate through the wrist. And inhale, nice inhale. You know, breathing is always so important to breathe correctly, deep breaths. And exhale, rotate through the wrist. And reverse. And take those nice deep breaths, sitting tall. And you did an excellent job. We'll see you next time.